Harriet, I am so sorry for what I'm about to say. Emma? Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Oh, nothing you need to worry about. Emma, we promised each other open communication. Alex, I promise this is not my secret to tell. Is it about Harriet? Are you worried about how she's going to react to us being together? I just want to make sure that she's okay with it. Well, something tells me that you don't need to worry about that too much. Oh, and why not? Because... Aren't you two <gasps> adorable? Frank, you're back! Frank, how are you? Not as well as you are. Alex Knightley. No. Aw, I didn't think we'd be seeing you for a while. What brings you to the office? Well, now that I sold my shares of Richmond Corp, I suddenly have a lot of free time on my hands. Oh, the life of the rich and idle. You just took a two-week vacation, Mr. Knightley. And I uh, also want to apologize to you in person. Oh, Frank, Annie already came in. Yes, I'm aware that my wonderful sister-in-law already explained the situation, but I felt like I owed you the whole story. Wow, that's very mature of you. Always do the unexpected. Keeps things interesting. And maybe a little too interesting, but... Alex? It's okay. I'm well aware of the image that you have of me. Can you blame me? Look, I know that it appeared I was taking advantage of this lovely lady, but I knew her heart was safe. Did you? Yeah. I mean, I've seen you two together. It was obvious who her heart belonged to. <laughs> well, you took a big chance. Did he? I also suspect you wouldn't have made a move if it weren't for me, so... You're welcome. Yeah. Admit it. Jealousy is a powerful motivator. Not in this case. Oh, really? Because I've been wondering how long you would have waited. Okay, okay. I don't have to sit here and let you two gang up on me. So I'm going to go back to my office. See you later. Frank, always a pleasure. Now, be <sighs> honest, Frank. How are you? Have you heard from Jane? She finally replied to one of my messages. And? She's thinking about things. Uh, I'm sorry. I hope you guys can sort things out. She can be very stubborn, but I hope the gestures I've made show that I'm very serious. Oh, so selling Richmond makes lying to your friends and family okay? Ouch. So you can forgive, but not forget. Well, give me time. But really, why the sale? Jane's passion project has been providing clean water to small villages in Ethiopia. I remember. She partnered us with Hygienic H2O for the bachelor auction. Well, they had bought several wells in the country, preventing the less privileged people from getting access to clean water. From a Frank Churchill enterprise? Shame on you. Now you sound exactly like Jane. Plus, she was always worried that being attached to someone like me might overshadow her and her projects. Well, I completely understand why she dumped you. <laughs> no offense. I'm trying to make amends here. Well, it seems you'll have to up your game if you want to get her back. Who says I want her back? Maybe I just want to apologize to clear my conscience. Say her name. What? Say it. Jane Fairfax. <gasps> See? <laughs> right there, you're still in love with her. Oh, and how can you be sure? Because I know you are sure. Okay, you caught me. I mean, she's amazing. She's smart, kind, caring, gorgeous. I mean, her great qualities are endless. But her cheekbones aren't as exquisite as mine. Ooh, such a tease. I mean, wouldn't have such a tease. <laughs> they call it payback. Well, I'm definitely paying my dues. But... This may be a long process. How so? No, I'll wait for a bit and let Jane get settled starting her own foundation. Seriously? Go, Jane Fairfax! But we'll just say, I'm going to make it clear that I'm serious about us. Are you saying you're going it's to- It's going to be a process, but I play to win. If you want to win big, you have to bet big. I wish you all the luck in the world, Frank Churchill. Hey, Emma. Harriet's here, and I said you wanted to talk to her. Oh, thanks, Alex. So, coffee? Iced. Black. I think we can manage that. Hey, Harriet. How are you feeling? I'm good. I think my mouth hurts more from holding it open for so long than the root canal. I hope you're taking something for the pain. I am. The dentist said I should be back to normal in a few days. Good. And we have some leftover ice cream in case you need it. Thanks. I'm good. Harriet, there's something I have to tell you. 
Does it have to do with Alex being back? Yes. Something happened a few days ago, and you're not going to like it. You and Alex are together now. What? How did you know? Well, it was obvious that you had feelings for him. Otherwise, you would have been more encouraging when I told you that I liked him. But I was. And he didn't like me that much since I wasn't the first person he came to see when he got back into town. He did email me to see how I was feeling, but he was just being nice. Wow, that's very perceptive. Are you mad at me? Because I completely understand if you are. I'm not mad. I'm sad you didn't confide in me sooner, but I'm not mad. Thank you for being the bigger person, Harry. And I promise, there will be no PDA in the office. We will keep it entirely professional. It's okay, Emma. If you love someone, you should let them know any way you can. And I promise, I won't make any more assumptions about your feelings or your love life. I've been wrong about everyone's feelings, including mine, so many times. Do you think you were always wrong about mine? Every single time. Forget everything I ever told you. Everything. Do whatever feels best for you. I may take you up on that advice, mm -hmm. just one last time. And I want you to stop me if you feel like I'm getting carried away. Oh, I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I'm the person to cause you heartbreak once again. Getting over Alex won't be the hardest thing I've ever done. Really? Alex is a great friend, but I've started to appreciate everything around me. You are an extraordinary friend, Harriet Smith. I just want you to be happy. You deserve to be happy too, Harriet. Yes, I think I do.